This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is episode 51. We are in the new age of FFP, uh, hopefully since last episode. Uh, big redesign and everything. I hope you like it. Um, and this is recorded on the 25th of July 2017. And we have a new exciting co-host with us. It is... Ali Hasnan. Hello. F first podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, you're a podcast virgin in this case. Exactly. I'm, exactly. I'm very happy to pop your cherry in this case. Thank you. I thank you. I hope, you're I, I hope you'll be. Uh, let's <laughs> go for all the cliches. Yeah. I hope you'll be gentle. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be gentle and I'm going to be a very, very attentive podcast lover to you. Thank you. Yeah. It's no, you know, I, I want my, my guests <laughs> to feel appreciated and so and they come back a second time yes yeah. exactly yeah. then no, maybe not call the police and i'm things not like that, I'm, so. I'm no one uh, uh <laughs> podcast fuck and drop you're not one of those i'm okay. not one of I'm those i'm glad guys. to hear that i'm glad to hear that <laughs> 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 all right i uh intru what are you all about because we met at uh one of vienna's uh comedy free open mics exactly right? so uh i started uh doing comedy in february yeah uh, and I've done it a couple of times since then. Right on. Yeah. Um, basically, I, I was always making, I think this is a standard story, I was always making my friends laugh. Mm -hmm. And yep. I, I thought, uh, I always knew I could do it. And it took me a good six years before I, before I got the, the balls to actually do it. And um, yeah. so anyone who's listening, uh, who's thinking about doing it, just do it. Yeah. Don't waste time. Yeah. Just get it done. Yeah. It, uh, the first thing... time, the first time you're gonna feel your pot. Well, my pot. Like Pumps. basically, basically Eminem's song Pumps was, was sweaty. Exactly. Week, um, Needs, exactly. There was no spaghetti involved. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but um, but it was very close. It was. It was uh, a I lot really... of tortellini in, the, in your case. Um... Yeah. Uh, or curry. Let's uh, say. You know. <laughs> You know? Yeah, let's be racist. Yeah, exactly. Sure. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just get it done. Do it the first time. You're gonna feel like shit yeah. afterwards. You still have the nervousness, but it's more like motivating. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just keep yeah. coming back. And after three yeah. months, if you don't see any improvement, stop. Yeah. Otherwise, stop. keep stop. going. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. All right. And we watched uh Walter Wippersberg uh docu fake documentary a mockumentary one of the first i think made in 1992 uh das fest des huns or um the feast of the chicken which is called on on the, the english imdb uh, okay. on the on the uh english wikipedia the english imdb has the german title as the title there's apparently no english no title. english title or okay. if there was yeah. one uh, not an official one in, okay. on an of it's very hard it's very easy to find the 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 movies they're on YouTube and stuff, but they are very hard to find, especially the first one with English subtitles. Okay. And you were struggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was struggling. Um, <laughs> it's 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 a shameful story. I've I've been here for most of my life, but I I don't consume much German. Uh, yeah, uh, no, that's that's media. An so. That's an indictment of the Austrian school system. <laughs> well, I I didn't go to. I went to the international school, so I oh, so even there oh, I spoke English. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, you, yeah. So you were cheating, basically. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So so you had the least involvement with German you could I mean, possibly have in Austria. The 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 kind of German. German we learned was yeah. the kind of German that's spoken at uh, the Donau Zentrum, and uh. <laughs> every every Viennese knows that in the uh, oh, wow. uh, in and around the Donau Zentrum, there's yeah. a different type of German going uh -huh. on there. Yeah. So you know, yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of German uh, we you, learned. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a very specific version of German. Yeah. That Oh man. And I'm, then you I'm mix so and then you mix it in with our English, which was also what you could describe yeah. as. Prolo English. Mm -hmm. So we had this like we had this mixture of uh, of of uh, let's say Chav English and uh, and you know Donald sent some Deutsch going on and it's so it made for interesting conversations uh, that we had with one another like yeah. uh, like uh, Herr Steider, yeah you know I was out uh, last the English, weekend. The English listeners gonna love this yeah. part. <laughs> I'm was, not gonna <laughs> subtitle this, guys. I'm not gonna subtitle <laughs> this. No I was uh, I was out. 
uh, last weekend, Alter, and uh, you know, this guy, he came and he fetched me. And I was like, Harris, <laughs> just give me a cheek. I only wanted a cheek. Don't fetch me. So, That's you a know. really bastardized I hit him. In, I hit him in the gosh, and then I, you know, yeah, and then I weglaufen because, you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we have a, a weird mixture here too in this in this in this mockumentary. So uh, take us to the plot. So the plot is uh, three. Uh, I think I think it's one doc. Uh, uh, the main documentary guy, his assistant, yeah. mm -hmm. and then they have a guy who walks around with a spear as well. Yeah. Who's I guess their bodyguard or he's. <laughs> I don't know the the, the, he the never was unpaid the unpaid intern. Uh, maybe. The unpaid intern and uh, <laughs> and I mean he's also kind of their shepherd. He's poking a lot of uh, Austrians uh, upper with Austrians with his spear. So <laughs> so they uh, they go to the to very they important. They're all black and they're from the all African television network. Exactly. Very exactly, important. Exactly. Very important exactly. detail. Yeah. And they are looking for undiscovered uh, um, tribes, tribes and, in and rituals. Exactly. And yeah. then and they mentioned something about when you go to certain Salzburg and 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 Tyrol, that's already well been covered by so many teams that the uh, the tribes there are not as original. Original, and, exactly. Yeah. And then he also mentioned other other tribes in different uh, countries as well yeah. as, as having been tarnished by by this connection. So. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so then, right. And then they just go through the different things. And I felt like it after, a few after the, after, after the introduction, yeah. it felt like half of the movie or half of the mockumentary was just footage of, of upper Austrians doing upper Austrian stuff. Yeah. yeah and yeah. for some reason to, to Austrians, Watching themselves do the th like w Austrians watching Austrians do stuff is like the most hilarious thing to them. They they it seems like they're very oh it is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about that. There's oh, there's definitely. a there's a healthy there's a healthy relationship with laughing at yourself in in Austria where. We you, have to. Yeah. There's no. There's no. There's no other way in Austria. Like see, we, even you saying that is is exactly that. Yeah. You know, yeah so, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted. Look, the, we, yeah. we 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 basically made our own form of comedy cabaret, which is mostly aimed at poking fun at Austrians. Like we made a super hyper specific form. That's like I don't know if 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 if. Only people from Baltimore could l make their own version of Baltimorean humor, and only p people from Baltimore would, first of all, understand, understand it, yeah. and second of all, get all the references, and third of all, it's a t completely different thing to all the other comedy yeah. that's happening in the United States. Wait, Baltimore is the United States, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of okay. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course, that course, shit all yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they they follow different themes. Yeah, yeah. So they follow different themes. Um, like they go through all the stuff that a typical uh, Austrian yeah. or European documentary about, I don't know, Asia or Africa or somewhere exotic yeah. uh, would go through. Like like their culture, their, their, their weird rituals. Yeah. Their, um, their, their forms of religion and, and all that stuff. And th I think they did a great job of just making basically a good documentary and then just doing humor. But, uh, like yeah, and uh, w one thing I, I thought was great was that they, they kept, they, they, would talk, they would talk a lot about, uh, especially the second half they would take things like uh they would say that this is this is a, a they're doing religion instead of doing religious stuff yeah. they're they're they've uh they've created this beer fest which is a communal celebration yes. and they don't go to church anymore but they do <laughs> this you know and so and so the the humor was um it was it, it was this very typical subtle sarcastic humor and yes. creating these uh uh you know having these people create these connections with oh they used to do the the church thing but now they used to 
uh, worship lambs, but now they worship the chicken, and the yeah. chicken has become the new uh, um, kind of uh, like whatever worshipped animal and things yeah. like that. The totem, the totem, the, exactly. the totem of their religion. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, so it it's and I feel like. I feel like I barely understood the humor and I feel like it's only because I've, you know, passively like having lived here so long mm -hmm. is the reason I don't I would never understand. I, no one can understand this unless you've lived you, in Austria or stayed in Austria long enough to actually yeah. get all the references. Exactly. But in general, it is just if there were en English subtitles, I think most of the humor would still translate through if you yeah. if you enjoy, for example, I don't know. Um, um, Monty Python or something okay, like yeah. something like really absurd, yeah. but done very seriously. Then this is probably your jam as well. Yeah, I think it would be interesting to do that uh, as a as a test to see to actually to see that uh, mm -hmm. to to ask someone if they managed to watch it with un, uh, with subtitles if it was yeah if it was interesting or if they understood the humor yeah that would be interesting to do yeah so they they get uh three uh guides in the four four, four, guides, four guides four guides yeah, yeah they get four guides and shoppers basically because they're carrying their stuff around yeah yeah <laughs> and uh and their brothers as well yeah they're uh, all brothers they're, they're also men of few words yeah <laughs> himmelfreund pointner is Himmel, the Himmelfreund pointner. is their yeah. last name so heaven Friend, friend of heaven, Himmelfreund. That would okay, be friend yeah. of heaven. Pointner is just a weird. Uh, yeah, that's that. Like that seems to me a really fake name. But I know enough Upper Austrians to be like, yeah, that sounds. Well, the, it's possible that they or what that it is fake or that it. That, that it, is. It, that, look, it could. In my mind, it sounds fake. But to everybody else, and in reality, there might exist a real Himmelfreund point now. Yeah, like, this yeah. is actually a thing that could be, could be, yeah. could be a real thing, and I just, I, I just don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they are four brothers, and they, they get bribed by money. Money, by yeah. shilling. Yeah, and good old shilling. Exactly, so it was nice seeing those again. The old currency, the, yeah. The and those were, those were 1,000 shilling bills, I think. I, I didn't I didn't recognize what types of bills. I just recognized that there was a whole sack Steak. of them. Yeah. But uh, but but even if it was thousand, they would be worth like I don't know like five hundred euro shines or something like this. <laughs> it's, like you'll never you'll never this this doesn't happen anymore where you run around or with a sack, bundle yeah a bundle, exactly, of, money, a bundle yeah. of money. I mean unless you're yeah. like uh, a bank that's, teller. Or that's something. why they introduced like at the end of the shilling they had to introduce the five thousand shilling. Because the thousand shilling just didn't cut it anymore. Yeah. Because a, th a thousand shilling were, I think, at the euro uh, introduction of the euro, it was of around seventy euros were one thousand shilling. Okay. So a five thousand shilling is like a three hundred and fifty right. euro. Yeah. And and I mean, there's there's this mythical two hundred euro bill. Oh, yeah, that I see bullshit. that I see so I see it in in the banks in the Werbung yeah. in the banks you know the commercials and I've never seen this thing bullshit. it's yellow apparently yeah, yeah and I've never seen this Super rare thing. and there used to be a 500 which they got rid of because no one was using this goddamn except for thing. drug dealers yeah. except for drug dealers and uh, and that one I think or I managed to, I managed to see it <laughs> once because uh, we went to the casino mm-hmm and uh, you know, we thought we were gonna we were gonna rob the casino sure, blind. Sure, of course, like everybody, <laughs> like everybody does. And uh, I'm gonna and do blackjack, and I'm gonna be amazing. And I'm, I'm just gonna fo follow the rules of uh, Kenny Loggins, I think. Uh, I know when to hold them, and I know when to fold. When, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I don't. So just a quick uh, detour, but with the casino, it's ev everyone I know has experiences. The first time they go, yeah. they win. They mm -hmm. double their money and they think they're gonna they're gonna bankrupt this casino. Yeah. And then they spend the next four times losing big. Yeah. And then everyone, I mean, either you become then an addict or the most people are like, okay, this is this is bullshit. Yeah, this is yeah. bullshit. I'm yeah. not coming back. So yeah, I'm, I got drained for a shit ton of money. Yeah. Exactly. And the drinks are expensive. Exactly. And the company company is sometimes not that great. <laughs> because who's there? Oh, always, always. R rich no. people with too much money. Some like the. the the, the casinos that I went to were mostly yeah. filled, like Baden, for example. Yeah, yeah. That's that's just filled with old people that just have too much money, apparently. I think 
I, I don't even mind the people who don't who have too much money. What makes me really depressed is all the people who the who, who like you clearly can see that they're there every yeah. day. Yeah. And they they probably spend their daily allowance within three hours and then spend the next three hours just kind of sitting there yeah. and watching so whatever sad. it's yeah. yeah. Uh, this took a turn for <laughs> that, this, this <laughs> went very dark <laughs> and that I, I i wanted to 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 leave that up to the uh to the second uh, to the second part of this two part documentary which was called in english darkest austria <laughs> yeah okay yeah, yeah. but 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 all yeah, right, let's it's already keep, dark it's yeah. already dark it's already dark yeah um we have um they they, they um at one point the head of the documentary um, like equalize uh, talks about religion and then he's like this is a like a really crazy form of cath catholicism and which is similar to judaism and islam and i'm like yeah that's that's about right yeah. okay yeah yeah i missed that part <laughs> <laughs> <They're all laughs> I'm that's like, a good one though yeah, yeah and they're, they're, they're like basically the same basically the same yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they all worship the same yeah. god i mean the it, end. i think it's funny because it's not true, but it's also kind of funny because it is true. Because they all kind of are the same. Yeah. It's just that because there's been like, I don't know, Judaism is what, like 5,000, 4,000 years old. And, and Very the, old, yeah. yeah. And, and the rest, the other two are a bit younger. Mm -hmm. And it's just because of all that time that has passed, you know, things have kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> developed as they have. Let's just leave it at that, yes. you know. Yeah. So. And, and we have... Yeah, no, yeah. Just the observations in general were very well done, I think, in this. Yeah. They, they, they really pinpointed, like, parts of, of Austrian culture, and specifically upper Austrian cultures, that must seem ridiculous to everybody else. Like, the, the proverbial feast of the chicken was 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 a was a great moment i think where where they they're like oh and now we got the conclusion why they 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 um go into those tents and and uh drink massive amounts of beer and dance all night it's not only to get laid no but also <laughs> to celebrate the totem yeah, yeah, yeah to celebrate the totem and like i bet you there there are there are documentaries maybe not even maybe not maybe shitty documentaries today, but very serious documentaries from, I don't know, the 60s or 70s that were exactly reversed to this, where it's a white guy in, a, in, a, yeah. in a, an African or Asian village or somewhere exotic, South America in, in, uh, would, also, would also work. Yeah. And, yeah. and he's like, look at those indigenous people and their crazy customs. Yeah, <laughs> and they seem to be uh, skewering this uh, animal and yeah. consuming it, which yeah, is yeah. something we have not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. and they're like, the, the, this woman washes this bowl for yeah. for some time. This must mean she, she's praying to the washing. Exactly, God. exactly. Yeah. So I, uh, so now I'm starting to to like a lot of it is just like yo, they're just eating chicken and drinking beer because yeah. it's because it's fun and and everyone's like, ah, oh, there's some. Deeper, deeper meaning, meaning. <laughs> and it's like no it's just chicken tastes good and yeah drinking beer is awesome yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> exactly also they're in reality they're they're normally uh those tents are normally built by the by the uh, local fire department which is a okay. freiwillige firewehr so yeah. volunteer firefighters and that's how they accrue money that's one of the, the, the their main the, incomes okay, yeah right, it's okay they make those big f feasts for two or three days and all of the, of the all of the goes money to goes the to the fire, fire department. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Yeah. So they get a new football team. I love the or fire something. department. I recently, uh, <laughs> I, you dude, got host recently. These guys, dude, the fire department. They have my respect. Yeah, uh -huh. these guys are amazing. It's a pretty mundane story, but I it just somehow you got stuck in a tree. No, it just somehow You're secretly a well, cat. Well, no, the thing is, <laughs> I, let me tell you though. After this story, I'm not afraid of getting stuck on a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But these guys, like, there's just something about the the way these guys operate. Uh, I had to. Uh, a friend of mine does Airbnb, so he was mm -hmm. out of the country. So I was just doing the schlüssel, the key yeah, the uh, exchange. exchange. Yeah. And um, the guests were, there were six of them and four of them went into the elevator. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this. And they only noticed it when they were inside that it's three people without luggage. So they press the button and it moves about, let's say, 30 centimeters and gets stuck. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm, I've never been in this situation. So I'm, I'm like, what, oh, what the f- am I supposed to do? You know? So yeah. I called the guy who's in Paris, you know, with his girlfriend, probably having a romantic, uh, uh date or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I called the guy and I'm like, yo, what am I supposed to do? And he's like, dude, call the, call fire the fire department. Call the fire department. And I'm like, well, what's their number? <laughs> like, I don't, you we, know, and not for the American listeners, we have three numbers we have one for the for the police department one for the okay but you could call any of the numbers and they'd be like dude call this number yeah, no, or they just redirect it. yeah this is clearly my fault because i have no freaking clue which what the number and it's I'm, i misstyled once too it's yeah. three it's three yeah, it, it's, well it's two numbers and three three three, three different well whatever digits, anyways three digits it's so it's one one three three right or one yeah. two two nine one three three looks like handshen looks like cuffs so yeah, it's uh police. it's police Four four is pluses, so that's the rettung. So mm. it's one two two. That's a nice mental mental image. Exactly. I, I yeah. haven't heard that one yeah. yet. Yeah, learning with Paul and yeah. and, and, and <laughs> learning exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's only useful when you're here, though. So oh, yeah. we don't want the American listeners British. Oh yes, one two two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, well, yeah. the nine one one service is exactly. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> so so anyway, so I'll j- quickly tell this yeah. very mundane, boring story so that we can uh, move on. So, uh, so I call. I they got stuck. I call the fire ambulance, and they're like, "All right, we'll be there in three minutes." And then uh, they managed to also uh, connect to the 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 technicians for the elevator, ah. and we thought that we would have to pay for everything. So no. so why? So, well, listen, listen. This is because we have no fucking clue. That's why. yeah, because yeah. we're we're completely uneducated when it comes to this stuff. So so they're like, yeah, you're the, the also always blame the foreigner, you know? <laughs> yeah. So the elevator. So they're like, yeah, the elevator technician is coming. Cancelled. Can you cancel the fire department so we don't have to pay twice? So I call the fire department. I'm like, yo, guys, don't come. We've got the elevator technician coming, and they're like. Well, do you own the the apartment? And I'm like, no. They're like, okay. So then, first of all, you can't tell us what to do because you don't because <laughs> you don't own the apartment. And second of all, when you if when we when we if we know that someone is stuck, we have to come by law. So uh. you, we can't not come. So I was like, all right, whatever. So they show up, six guys built like tanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm as they're coming, I'm explaining the situation to them. Not interested, yeah? yeah. This guy, he does his thing, turns this on, opens that thing. Like he's like tells his buddy, you know, open that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we've got this and stuff. And wh- what's you know? Can you we help also us? Have two pounds yeah. of weed. Exactly. I'm not. And he was just complete. Like I wasn't even there to this guy. Yeah? yeah. And he goes in. He opens the door. Helps. They turn off the electricity. So he yeah. helps each one out. And then he starts noting down a number, and I'm like, okay, so are you like gonna send us the bill in the mail? And he's like, yeah. no, the house Verwaltung pays for it. Uh, and then he just walks because they messed up with the elevators. What service I, for thing. some? I think it just ends up being the house Verwaltung that pays Fair it. Enough. That's just that's just how it ends up being. Yeah. And uh, and this guy was completely uninterested. He never looked at me. He 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 was completely <laughs> uninterested in 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 wh- why I was there or yeah. anything. What I was doing. He just did, he went in and did his Didn't job. And give a fuck didn't give a fuck but these guys are all business mm-hmm. and that's why i wouldn't be scared if i was stuck in a tree because this guy he would just show up same right. guy i'm sure the same guy would show up and <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we need, only need six guys need only six guys yeah, exactly. yeah. there's yeah. so seldom something burning in vienna you yeah exactly right yeah. yeah yeah um all right let's go back to yeah the, let's go back, back to, to the, the plot topic, and, yeah. and 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 close it up um so they they um um talk about the elders for a while as well um, this I found interesting because yeah. it's always been uh, an interesting topic for me to think about because in India, where my mom comes from, mm-hmm. uh, often the parents will always move in. So when a son gets married yeah. or a daughter gets married, uh, the daughter usually moves in with a, th- with a thing. But the son, when he gets married, his sorry, parents. With, his parents will live basically with him. With him exactly. Jesus Christ. So, so... It makes for a lot of stress, but just this <laughs> difference in cul- the difference in culture yeah. has always been interesting to me. But with, just with imagine that. that India had as many uh, old people homes as Austria did. Oh yeah, they fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like true. the yeah. moment they get yeah. the opportunity, of course, of course. To, <laughs> it's, like they are relatively well taken care of. Relatively, the food is 
edible <laughs> and the stuff stuff is only kind of rapey <laughs> <laughs> not full on catholic rapey like, just a little just bit just a little bit like yeah. they'll just put in the tip <laughs> <laughs> they oh, just they, they just grab your ass no. in the middle of, of I mean of, I mean of, there's of there's food delivery or something. there's a, there's a huge number of reasons why there's a difference it's it's just always been a very interesting thing to me mm. and I think here uh, out of all the Western countries where they do this where it's kind of like okay we're go- we we're kind of live separate, elders. here it is pr- it is the best most like I mean here in probably like Switzerland and what do you Nordica, mean the best like the, the quality of taking the care quality of, yeah of course yeah it's, of course it's, it's all right I mean as long as it's gonna last so yeah, yeah. maybe when we get old it's it's not gonna well, that, be that then awesome. it's gonna be some cool robot that's gonna take that's care true. of us that's true like yeah. if you're not immortal at that point yeah i'm very positive about the future we'll just have to make that. sure that the robot also just puts in the tip and <laughs> not, not the whole. just the metal tip just yeah. The, yeah exactly so he has like <laughs> except if he has like a sex robot feature i wouldn't yeah. say no you know <laughs> oh sex robots awesome. no sex robots in this we've movie. done it we've done so i mean this was a pretty straightforward documentary yeah, we've, 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 we've talked about different cultures we've yeah. talked about Sex robots. And, yeah, we, we've done um, it all. Yeah, we've done it all. We've it's covered the whole good. plot of this. fire department. They, yeah. they they conclude with the feast of the chicken, and that's that's it for yeah. the first part. Yeah, I'm I'm very anxious to see what the plot of the second part is because I've never seen that one. Okay, this one I saw in Austrian TV like when I was twelve the first okay. time, ten or twelve, because they re re showed that that show multiple times. Yeah. Um, all right, so um, I think we're done here, and let's go to something more visual. Cinematography. So uh, I, if I may start. Yeah, yeah, yeah? sure. I um, I thought the cin- cinematography was uh, was great. I mean, they had for a TV movie for a TV movie, and for 1992, they had some amazing shots of the of the Alps, the they mountains. Had so many helicopter shots. Yeah. It so many how how uh, the helicopter budget alone must have been insane or they just used stock, stock yeah. footage the whole way and this is a se- this is also one thing that's amazing about austria is that i'm sure the government paid for at least it half was of rf it was an rf yeah. production so they paid so, all of exactly, it exactly so they paid all of it exactly yeah. so th- there you go <laughs> it's so like the bbc yeah doesn't yeah. india have also like a national tv channel that's throwing like Bollywood movies and no, stuff like I that. No, I don't think I don't think they put that much into it, and and, and definitely not for such a small country, you know. Uh, for you know what I mean. So yeah, for well, yeah, for the Mumbai fact that Mumbai is uh, bigger than Austria. Exactly. So, yeah. so and and that's what I mean it, mm. is that Austria is uh, just in terms of size, basically. Yeah. But yeah, so we so, are very tiny. Yes. Ba- that's, back that's... into back to the cinematography. I thought mm. uh, the shots were amazing. I mean, the helicopter shots were great. Yeah. One thing that interested me was a lot of the shots I felt from the festival and things. You know, where they did the underboob, or where, yeah. where they did the guy with the teeth, and <laughs> oh, just, so the, ugly. just the weird people. Did, did they? I mean, is that s- still allowed now? Don't you need to get the consent of people? Uh, Austrian Austrian law is weird. I. Feel think you don't if it's a background thing if you if you if you interview somebody Mm -hmm. then you have to sign a release form but if you're just in the background i think i think you have to be identifiable and that means that's more than your face like okay Austrian law is not as stringent as, uh, for example, U.S. law, right. where they have to, we have to, you have to sign a waiver about everything. Yeah, that that's one thing that I thought. I felt at first I thought, okay, this is like clearly a sign of a 1992 movie where they're just shooting people and shooting someone's under boob <laughs> and it's all good, you know. This is not. A, yeah. This is not bowling for Columban. Not everybody gets shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shot. Okay, <laughs> that was a stupid joke. That was well, I mean, really it, you are joke. the pun master. So, yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pun master general, please. Pun master general. Okay. Yes, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that was one thing that interested me about the shots. Otherwise, I thought it was. I mean, it was really good. I thought the yeah, shots were. It, 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 it always was showed great. you what was going on. It didn't fuck around with crazy swivel shots or yeah. something like that. 
They had a little bit of handheld action to make it feel like it felt like a documentary. Mm -hmm. the, visually, it was a doc documentary, especially, for example, with the, with the reaction phase. Like, they had three different montages, I think, in this one. They had the one where they... Uh, um, the, the, ugly Amer uh, the ugly Austrians in the tent, yeah. where they just showed 20 faces and one was scarier looking the than next. the next one. Like, they all had health issues. I think n of those 20 from 192, out of those 20, maybe one is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> the rest had some heart condition sure. or, or fell over during one of the the dancing yeah. scenes or and broke hit, his neck is hidden away in one of the one of those uh altas altas yeah, yeah, we yeah, were the just old people talking, homes yeah yeah, yeah. Um, then they they had the drinking montage where they they had 20 different people drink yeah and then they had the dancing montage at the end where they they showed the different dances yeah. the austrians were doing yeah. and that it's mostly to to get the ladies which is in itself kind of true <laughs> yeah yeah i i th i mean i think all forms of dancing are you know has have some kind of message behind yeah exactly it, yeah. some kind of like yeah i, mean. <laughs> I want to kill you yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. and you <laughs> you're yeah. doing the the, the 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 forbidden dance and mm. that's the salsa i think is the forbidden dance is it i think so yeah because okay. it was too raunchy oh, okay. and I too sexually I charged knew. okay i mean yeah. i know it's sexually charged yeah I, it's I, I, I never knew i never knew it was uh, uh forbidden though it's called it was called the forbidden, it was called the forbidden i think it was actually forbidden from certain parts okay. in certain interesting, countries interesting. and stuff like that or just so, region learn so much in uh, thank you in, yeah, yeah. Uh, educational yeah. paul <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. So um, cinematography. Uh, the boob shot was great. The boob shot was great. Classic I mean, camera like, lingering on on some under boob of some it. lady that didn't have a, a brazier on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was very happy to show her. Same. I think that's also that that um, voyeuristic effect that that European European uh, um, uh, documentaries or sometimes have when the, you have an indigenous people who. Yeah. who just don't wear anything because it's fucking hot and humid all the time. Yeah. Why would you wear something, you know? And then they just linger the camera on people. Yeah. Or they haven't I've invented like, like invented a little bit silk creepy. yet or hmm? something. They haven't invented silk yet. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have to feed this one silkworm <laughs> and then collect its poop, <laughs> basically. And, and then that poop, you have to... You have spin. to like boil it yeah, and yeah. just sit there and, and, and wait, watch and it. Wait. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Silk is such a... Yeah, great material. Yeah, stupid amazing. way of getting it. <laughs> amazing. I would still wait for artificial silk that feels like real silk. Yeah, that's that's my dream. I've, it's once it happens, all my dresses, you know, gone. Yeah, everything thrown out. Uh, Fuck your cotton. Only silk, silk, dress, only silk, silk dresses, in. baby. One S piece silk dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only tra <laughs> I'm only wearing pilk uh, pilk. Silk uh, onesies. Silk onesies, exactly. Silk onesies. Silk from boxers, now. silk socks. Oh, yeah. Silk, silk socks. Uh, silk condoms. Silk condoms. Yeah, silk I'm stars. always wearing a silk condom. Look, if I, if I can wear silk on my penis all the time, I'm going to do Dude, it. Man. I don't even fuck and I wear a silk condom all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I have erectile dysfunction, but my penis still, <laughs> still, still, still needs to feel comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And like a exactly. sleeve. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Silk like, sleeve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the condom, pro uh, the the penis protector. The penis protector. Yeah. 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 We, that's the product name that I just came up with. The um, the, the penile. Uh, shouldn't it be penile shield? But maybe. shouldn't it be like a a pun that has to do with silk? Yeah. Um. um Pilky roads? No, that's the that's silk protector. I yeah, don't know. but that's oh, the not silk a pun. spectre. The silk spectre. Ah, ah, the silk. That's yeah, the good one. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to patent that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Business ideas, educational. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, general stuff about yeah. Austria. Yeah, we've yeah. got it all here, baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. After you heard us talking for forty minutes or something like that, uh, let's move on to. Sounds. Yeah, so I was very unimpressed by the sound. 
because it was Austrian music. I thought I thought that the that the that the voice uh, uh, um, uh, the voice uh, the recording over? voice recording was fine. Yeah. Uh, I, but in terms of being a mockumentary, I mean, you know, I thought that it would have been nicer if they really tried to whatever we as non-Africans or non mm -hmm. uh, what I shouldn't say Africa because that's really ridiculous. What country did did, did they? Um, Kinshasa I, is the city, but what's the country? No, or? they just said Kinshasa. They, they were using like 20 different city names. They were okay. all over Africa. OK, OK. I don't know where they. Again, the it's, documentary all, team it's is all African TV, so, so AA TV. So let's say wherever the documentary team came from, mm -hmm. um, that they would have maybe used some music that represents that kind of gives you the feeling at yeah. the beginning, especially that the background music was more of that style. Well, they had the jungle drums and everything while they were showing. It was the for me, it was very, even the last song. Mm -hmm. It was more leaning a little more to giving me that feel but it was more like okay this is clearly like some some western person like okay trying let's to just make our our song and then put some drums you behind want it. you wanted Some them hand. to african up african up that yeah. that music you yeah, know yeah. just just so that so that it gives it a more like immersive feel into right. the into the mockumentary yeah, yeah. They, they should have included the um i don't know was there ever i think uruguay had a world uh, a, a football championship yeah like a world championship yeah there was one in uruguay like in the 70s yeah. or something like that they should have just used it the, the song from song, yeah. i hope i hope they had songs back then for or, or shakira's shakira's this one's for africa <laughs> that would have that song's from africa isn't it <laughs> yeah they traveled into the future met shakira oh, yeah. <laughs> Met Shakira, like, <laughs> so got I, the song, traveled back in time. <laughs> We're like, yeah, this is totally original and stuff, guys. <laughs> so, so I when I when I said that, I thought the joke was gonna be that it's clearly not an African song. It's not an African person. <laughs> no, 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 but, no, no. But th but there's like <laughs> multiple layers to how what a bad idea that would be because it's also it was Way made the like future. 15 years later, right? Yeah, at exactly. least. Yeah, at least. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but we were talking about. About, Shakira, Shakira. Uh, we were talking about residuals. Uh, if you were on Tat Ort, yeah, being fifteen uh, cents, and how useful that would be if we had oh, a time yeah. machine. Because yeah, fifteen yeah. cents, what a hundred years ago? I mean, time machines would solve so many troubles. Exactly. Personally, yeah. I yeah. don't. I think time machines are the worst thing that could happen. Like they can't happen because it's time travel. And no, the energy involved in doing actual time travel yeah. is just fucking humongous. Um, so not in the near future. And the best, the best example, uh, the best thing I ever heard about why there is no time travel, and even if there's one, why there's no evidence of it, is uh, either all the time travels uh, messed up and died when they tried to time yeah. travel, or it's just physically impossible. Yeah, that's true. Because then we already had somebody try to kill Hitler. Okay. Like so many people. But the thing is, like so a room full of people. You have to think about. You have to think about it this way, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and this, I mean, this might blow your mind. Yeah. Uh -huh. Please. But blow maybe, my mind. maybe, 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 maybe they did try and kill Hitler. Uh -huh. And maybe Hitler is like the worst thing that happened because they killed like the act. Like there was some other dude, and his name was like. Uh, Fiddler, mm -hmm. and he came from, let's say, not One, Austria, but yeah. he came from like I don't know. He came from uh, Morocco, let's say, and okay. he did like all that shit, uh, and he did like a six million, you know, genocide thing. Yeah. And then someone went back in time and killed him, and now it's like the time has changed, but it was Hitler who did all the shit. So, actually, so so what you're saying is that history doesn't big events just don't change somebody has to fulfill that position what i'm saying of is killing that, what all I'm those jews <laughs> <laughs> no that's I, what no, you're saying I, no I, what i'm saying is that <laughs> what i'm saying is that what we know is history mm -hmm. yeah might be the altered history oh yeah you know what i mean yes and the thing is we have no way of knowing whether it was different and then someone did travel back in time oh so if you mean that every time somebody changes history we wouldn't, we, feel, wouldn't feel it because for us it is already it, altered it, history. Exactly. Like right, literally, fair. there could be like a hundred time travelers changing events 
like all the time. every second yeah. all the time and for us our consciousness would still that would explain a lot of things like donald trump or hitler <laughs> yeah i mean you never it's, know maybe and those hundreds are really fighting against each other and like no yeah and they're no. yeah exactly and things are changing constantly yeah but we're not take I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna whisper into trump's ear when he's asleep that he should divorce his wife get a third one and uh run, run for, for office <laughs> and the other guy no i'm gonna choose Hit hillary <laughs> even though she, she has a bunch of emails <laughs> that's what's such yeah, a stupid I mean, yeah. oh man we're, we're on a segue here yeah let's go back to the i think this this <laughs> part we can consider cutting out I no, don't no, no 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 <laughs> no that that is fucking gold right <laughs> here time travel talk time travel i love it yeah. um there was there was some what i found in the sound was what what made me feel very uneasy was the fact that i knew most of the songs Yeah, and you were loving them. Uh -huh, you didn't just know them; you were loving them. Yeah, yeah. That's, you were delightfully singing along with all of them. That's that, yeah. They're so catchy, man. Yeah. And they're so you, catchy. So you, you, you were singing along delightfully, and I, every time one of the, the lyrics, which consists of two sentences. Yeah. Every time I understood them, I would be like. Yes. Oh my God. And then I turn, and I turn to you and I'd be like, "This is what that means," and you'd be like, "Yes, that's yeah. what it means." <laughs> exactly, man. You're getting it. So we we both got yeah. a lot of joy out of the songs. You actually. you got you got a joy of yeah. being fully integrated yeah, exactly, into upper exactly. Austrian culture. Exactly. And From I was like, time. ah, upper Austria. No, that that was the the um. So just for reference, uh, one of the worst times I got drunk. Um, was in Upper Austria during one of those tent festivals sure. because uh, I was there with my cousin who was part of the volunteer firefighters in Upper Austria in a very small village of, I think, 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> like he had to go to the next town's volunteer firefighter, firefighter department to apply there. So that it was, okay, yeah. Because they didn't have their own. Yeah. And uh, I was at that festival and got shit-faced. Then I... Uh, then we we walked back to to their house, my my uncle's house, because we, yeah, that was the closest yeah. thing by, and driving was not an option at all. Of course, all. of course. And I I puked into the hedges of <laughs> into his hedges, <laughs> and then proceeded to go into try to go into the guest room, but somebody else already li was lying in my bed. So uh, drunk Paul decided to go. Uh, into the into the hallway where there was a chair and I was starting to I I I I, I didn't sit on the chair I stood on the chair facing the wall and there were like two or three other people there and then I was doing the spider pig bit from 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 the Family. Simpsons movie okay yes yeah, spider right. pig yeah. spider pig and I was like trying to claw my way up the wall and then Did very you soon, actually How far did you get though? No, like two centimeters. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so you like. Then my, my uncle was like, Paul, what are you doing there? And I'm like, mm. <laughs> like I was 19 at that point and I forgot that I was oh, like allowed to drink and I was like, oh, no, right, everything's okay. fine. I'm not drunk, uncle. And he's like, sure, sure. <laughs> What are you, why aren't you laying in bed? And I'm like, there's somebody else in my bed. And apparently it wasn't one person. It was a couple fucking in, my oh, in the guest bed. And he walked into the, the room because he didn't hear them. And he was like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I laid in. But, 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 but was it like people you knew or was it just random um, they people? Were fr they were friends of my cousin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very rude. Yeah, very you, rude. You ask before you bang exactly, in somebody else's. Exactly, exactly. I mean, generally, yeah, you don't do the nasty in someone else's. In, in someone else's else's yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, without Except, asking. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or when it's implied, like, I'm here with my girlfriend and yeah. we're in your guest room. The Of course, exactly. I'm here with my boyfriend. Of course, you, everybody's, nobody's going to say anything, but you're going to bang yeah, hard knows. in those guest rooms. Everyone knows. Yeah, everyone because knows. that's the second closest uh, to having hotel sex. And hotel sex is the best thing because you don't give a fuck Talk about... about <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to come on all the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you squirt on the windows. <laughs> the AC broke and you're like... Oh, I can't. <laughs> My AC broke, and they're like, "What? How? Uh, we don't know." Wait, can you fix it from outside? Yeah, maybe. 
<laughs> Nobody <laughs> should walk into <laughs> the room right now. We Do, maybe with a blindfold. Yeah, we could, just yeah. sacrificed a few goats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, yeah, so hotel sex definitely. Yeah, definitely. Up there. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. Um so um they did the chicken dance, which was pretty awesome. Yeah. And from from a from a sound standpoint, I really enjoyed the narrator's voice because that's a very famous Austrian uh voice actor mm -hmm. and he does like a, a bunch of Universum, I think you know Universum, the ORF Uh, documentary I haven't seen it, no. they won like i think they even won a golden globe okay once okay so definitely recommended oh yeah, yeah. your universum is one of the best things documentary wise coming out of austria yeah. ever they're really good it's running for now i think 30 years or something like yeah. that do you know uh euro cops <laughs> no <laughs> i don't know euro cops okay. this sounds very boring <laughs> extremely extremely yeah. my mom played the wife of a terrorist <laughs> of course she did <laughs> was it at least an indian terrorist like uh, i'm gonna blow you up or something like no, that no no he uh i don't know what i don't think they ever identified what country he was from this curry is a <laughs> head crumb <laughs> but he but he was uh he he was He spoke Hindi, so he spoke in uh, the All Indian right. language, but they never identified where he was from. Okay. And she was. Oh, they were just like, it's a Ching Chong Chong language. It's fine. No, he just like he he <laughs> took a he took a hostage, and mm -hmm. then and then he ended up getting. Of course he did. And guess who shot him? Uh, the white police officer. No. The black police officer. No. The Muslim police officer. You my shot mom, my oh, mom. Your mom, my mom shot, shot your dad. The wife. She was like, "I'm sick of this." <laughs> And she popped. I don't want to be. I don't want to be no terrorist no more. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, she was. Yeah. So, anyway, so she did that, that. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty It, cool. So that's the only reason. I mean, it's. I've I've never come across anyone who knows this show. Uh huh. It was this like for good joint. Reasons. Yeah, for good reasons, and it was this joint. <laughs> Uh, with Italy and oh, yeah. two other countries, so mm -hmm. they would do three episodes here, three episodes there, uh, etc. So okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very bad, very yeah. bad. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. <laughs> Thanks for that. But anytime you're checking out uh, Euro Eurocops, Cops? Tod in den Transit, yeah, yeah. Tod uh, in den Transit, Tod in den Transit, yeah. That's that, that's a pun-based title. I like it already. Yeah, yeah. I like so it already. So in case you ever. Uh, Are you browsing through the OLF archives? Check it out. My mom's in it. Yeah, she's the only brown woman who shoots a brown man. <laughs> <laughs> the only non-racist <laughs> killing. <laughs> That's true. It's really non-racist. Brown, brown on brown. This violence. was also like '92, so they were quite ahead wow. of their time. You know? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could have easily had a white person shoot him and be yeah, like, no, no problem. Very back easily. in the back in the. I mean, even very. now, even now, they'd even be like, the, come on, the, 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 this can't the, 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 this it's, it's, it's already a diversity higher in Amer uh, in Austrian and German TV shows when they have one Muslim guy in there. Yeah, <laughs> and they, he's probably not even Muslim, but a second or third generation Turkish person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's. Or weird. or he just went to the Zon studio in the morning. Yeah, and they're, <laughs> they're like you. Yeah, you. You're gonna be the villain of today, <laughs> to the week, this week's episode. Yeah, we come out Wien. Yeah, again, I push on. Yeah, do, do a little bit. La, 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 la. You're gonna be fine. Passion, passion. <laughs> Here, have a. <laughs> you're 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 a transgender uh, terrorist. You're, you're getting. Ah like, uh, yes, yeah, so that's all, like all the, the that's like the newest. Uh, that's like th this won't happen in Austria anytime soon. I think another 25 Yes, years and we'll have and that we we'll have, have a that. transgender yeah. terrorist family But did you watch spider-man which one the newest one the newest one. homecoming no i haven't yet no okay okay so I'll yeah don't spoil them no, yeah, yeah. Spoil yeah. we're gonna spoil the rest of this movie though because yeah. we're gonna move on to the best moments so, so for me the best moment what the best moment for me was uh when he mentioned so he was talking about the old people yeah and he mentioned that the eskimos just put them out on a on an ice uh, yeah, patch. On a, yeah and yeah. then just let them drift into just the let ocean them drift into the ocean and uh the reason why i found that to be the best moment was because they were making fun of 
the 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 people like the documentary people they were making fun of another culture and they were making fun of the austrians yeah all in this in one scene so <laughs> based on the visual it mm-hmm. was making fun of the austrians based on what they were saying it was making fun of the eskimos and i mean zovis or the 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 documentary guys were being made fun of as well yeah so and the reason why i found it the best moment is because to me austrian uh humor is that there's no there's no no one is is uh, left behind in terms of in terms of who can be made fun of or who can uh you know that that's true this, this, yeah this wir alle verarschen yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it is it is a very very um i don't know unilateral exact decision or, to make fun of everybody exactly exactly like everyone is 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 equal when it comes to when it comes to who you can make fun of yeah and no no one takes it personally uh in in Aust- most cases Mo- in most cases there's yeah. obviously exceptions but yeah. for the most part people don't take it personally and, and they so, are like oh yes this is humor i get yeah. it <laughs> so i thought that encapsulated the 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 austrian humor mm-hmm. uh, more and i felt like the movie itself is a very austrian humor based movie yes. so yeah yeah for me it was more of the for me it was more the Uh, oh, this now this feels like a real documentary, and that's when they uh, the um, Himmelfreund Pointner brothers were fighting on the boat to yeah. get the oars. Okay. Who who gets the oars and who gets to uh, uh, paddle the boat? Yeah. And then uh, you had the, the 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 documentary guy turn around to the screen and like like a <laughs> look at those savages <laughs> and looking directly into the lens and talking about how the the austrians quarrel and stuff like that and yeah. they're like sometimes they seem brutish and land stuff. land based and they yeah, can't yeah, yeah, they even though they don't have alligators they somehow and hippo- don't the, yeah, hippopotamus they, hippopotam- hippopotami hippopotami yeah right yeah sorry yeah, Pl- yeah plural actually yes yeah, yeah so I should know. Yeah, I should uh, not know. that you should know, but you would know. Yeah. Like when I say it, you don't say it back like you're surprised because nah. most of the time I say hippopotami and they're like, "Oh, it's hippopotami," mm-hmm. but you don't because you know yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> great, great right. addition, <laughs> great addition. But yeah, I, I just found that hilarious beyond belief because it's it's so typical to see that shot of somebody talking in the foreground while savages again savages in air quotes are fighting or are or, or being being undecipherably in their actions and that just makes because it's intrigue and what are those weird people doing uh, and and that just made it so much better for me for for, for just putting an extra stamp of austrian humor yeah. on this on this already brilliant piece and that just uh, I, i i i really enjoyed that um yeah best moments done yeah. done yeah. Done. No bad moments, so we don't really have to do that. Like bad, yeah, bad yeah. moments. Bad. I also really like the the, the garden gnomes, the garden the, yeah, gnomes yeah, scene yeah. where they're like, yeah, this seems to be something like a, a totem from uh, yeah. our our uh, from from leftover li- religions, and that the, the because the, the <laughs> and. and They don't even subconsciously they k- keep doing this, putting gnomes in their gardens, yeah. which they fence off to protect them, their individuality against each other. Yeah, and that's th- that. That was like, yep, that seems that seems about right, <laughs> because Austrians love their small gardens. That's that they 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 fetishize how how it's like suburbs in the U.S. where you have to. Cut your grass perfectly, and you compete with each other. Yeah, with, yeah. With the, who has the nicest flowers. garden yeah, and exactly. everything? Yeah. yeah, it's the same fucking deal in yeah. Austria, except for that we pull up way more fences. Yeah, than other people. They, they, that we we had a, uh, like in the in the 60s and 70s, we had a, a t- type of hedge that growed very fast and very dense. So you had a lot of. Um, safe like safety you felt safe because you couldn't see outside your <laughs> fucking place um, so if some shit was going down you yeah, wouldn't see it nope, which is somebody which could equals have, being safe so, yeah. somebody could have get stabbed in front of your house and you I'm wouldn't safe. notice cool. yeah, you wouldn't yeah. notice and that hedge my, my 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 i know that hedge very well because uh that type of hedge because my my grandfather had it in his in his garden in his little garden with his house and 
he put it up, be which is already insane because he's allergic to that type of hedge. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's already insane. But also, it is poisonous. Very poisonous. Like, put, put a po that's like putting a, a tarantula in your apartment without get, giving it a cage. Like, oh yeah, is it defanged? Nah, 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 I'm, it, I'm, it's gonna be fine. Or it's, Th like, it's like having, being allergic to cats and then using a tiger as defense. You yes, know? yes, exactly. Because, like, yeah. you still got Keeping that idea. Yeah, exactly. I have, I have my <laughs> tiger bodyguard. And, like, you're constantly sneezing and it's yeah, like, yeah. no, it's worth it because my tiger is going to fuck yeah. anyone up who, you know, <laughs> <laughs> tries to come in here. Yeah, yeah. He could kill me at any point, but yeah. until that happens... I'm very safe. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I'll be fine with my teary, puffy eyes. Yeah. And, yeah. They showed yeah. that hedge. I had to cut that hedge. I got, I got, uh, Rash, uh yeah. I got rashes all over my arms, even though oh, I man. wore protective gloves and everything because that stuff again, very poisonous. Awesome. Yeah. Um, still legal to buy and plant, which is insane, insane to yeah. me. I think, well, I guess you shouldn't eat that thing in, in the first place. It doesn't look very appetizing. Um, but enough of hedge talk. Um, let's go to our secret category, which is um, I had I had some I had some um, things laid out, but uh, I'm right now I'm it's fifty fifty between best we we can you can choose best montage or best observation. Like the best observation that the documentary was doing about Austrians, or the best montage, video montage. Okay. In there. What 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 would you rather talk about? Um, they're both kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do both. Let's do both. Okay. All right, two secret categories this time, this time, and first one is best observation. All right. Um, mine was definitely the one about uh that it seems like Austria is a monogamous culture, oh, but that true, the yeah. man was fucking yeah. a lot of side bitches. And, uh, but they weren't living together with the main hoe. That's very rude talk about women, but so was the documentary. <laughs> and then they used, they used the... A which, very scientific term. Exactly, which do you want no, to... No, no, yeah. please. You so, were fascinated so, by it. So we, we talked about it and we roughly translated it to dislocated polygamy. Yes, because the <laughs> women were ap living apart from and each other. Didn't know, didn't know that the, the other one existed. existed. Exactly, or yeah. if they existed, they were like... Mm, but Un unsaid it was yeah. just unsaid <laughs> like many things in in austria yeah they just not talk being, about it yeah let's just <laughs> it's the opposite of the song talk about it that's austria that's that should be the yeah do not talk about it talk about, or, it, talk about it putting up hedges because if you don't see crime happening it's yeah not, it's it doesn't not exist, existent yeah, yeah exactly yeah. that's if that's you don't a very talk about austrian it, reaction yeah. we um, really love our own personal space and nobody else should fuck with that yeah yeah so it it also has sorry for that. Yeah. Uh, it also has very positive effects though sometimes. Like um I had my fair share of loud parties in this apartment and the police in total in the last 10 years showed three up three times. That's it. Yeah, three times. And they were always like turn down the music and it's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> do your neighbors do your neighbors go insane like do they go really crazy or is no, it no, just yeah? no okay. I, I i think i'm the worst in the apartment uh, in the in this apartment no i meant complex. like do they does it really bother them oh the... no I, I always hang up flyers that okay. i'm gonna do a party okay, okay and okay. they just ring my bell when, when it's it's always somebody from another house that's from another called. house okay it's never okay. from this house okay, it's okay. always somebody yeah. else called yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. and it could be right next to this wall that there, there, there's another house right right, there. right so it could be them for example yeah. i don't know yeah um, that was my best observation, I thought. So, uh, for because me... Because it's fucking true. <laughs> yeah, and for me... Still. Uh, it's definitely not as funny as yours, so I feel actually pretty bad, but... Aww. <laughs> you want to go first the next time? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. I also need time to think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... I can talk about my best montage in the meantime, and you think about... No, no, this. no, it's cool, it's cool. So, yeah. I, wa so I want I to... I can do this, I'm, Paul. I'm, try I'm trying to figure out how to formulate this, but I thought the whole idea of taking very mundane things we talked about it already mm -hmm. but taking mundane things like beer drinking chicken eating yeah and being like this is based on 
the old uh, re- their old religion where they used to worship the man on the cross and drink yeah. wine, but now the cro- the man on the cross is less worshipped and it's a chicken and yeah. the wine has been replaced with this yellow drink. So yeah. just this subtle idea. And like you never burst out laughing, but the whole thing is very amusing that they're they're creating these connections yes. where it's like... It's the, like yeah, the, the, the same way that documentary is uh, all over the world function in some exact, sometimes, where exactly. they just... You, they 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 see uh, um, um, correlation, and they make causation out of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And uh, forcing it into a like very tightly knit uh, point of view that only that that only can happen if you if you if you're uh, basically thinking that you're the superior. Uh, I think thinking it, form in a lot of ways you're also kind of just uh, giving your viewers who are just people from a different place and a yeah. different uh, dang, you know different way of thinking mm-hmm. giving them a frame of reference why would they do this because, yeah, yeah because you can't understand I mean by now everyone understands it but maybe like now we have Google exactly like, nowadays if we've... somebody is doing some weird shit you're just like do Israelis really do da, da, da. Yeah, exactly <laughs> and like and now by now everyone drinks beer but like a hundred mm-hmm. years ago you'd be like what the he- why is it such a big party like drinking this weird drink that doesn't really taste that good if you're not used to it if you're That's not used true. to it if yeah. you've never drank it I think it, 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 I think it was like- beer number five or six for me where I was really like oh yeah this is this is nice yeah for me, for me, I have to say for about two years, it was like, okay, let me quickly drink the first two because it tastes <laughs> like shit up until then. And, and but after just, that, it's fine. After that, it's fine. And now, I, by now, you know, it's it's. it's you nice. actually appreciate exactly. the taste of different beers? Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so, just yeah, like so, I mean, just the, this, this, subtle, this subtle idea of making all these connections, which, yeah. you know, so anyways, that, that's what I thought was yeah. a, a great observation from the movie, yeah. Mm. For me, the the um, yeah the, the 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 next secret category, best montage, um, was probably uh, the 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 ugly faces, <laughs> just where they, they show twenty ugly faces because I have relatives that look like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not a beautiful man. I get that. I'm not the best looking yeah, man. I get that. But, don't sell yourself short. But, <laughs> I'm, but I'm not Porky McPork face. Yeah. You know, I don't look like I had There's a no underboob here. Yeah, There's no uh, underboob here. I, 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 <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I, don't, I can't put a pen under it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing, right? 2016 or something like that. Where, uh, where women were putting... There was this pen challenge where they... Okay. If the the eyes were big enough, dude, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm I I don't I'm just an old man who, like, who just hikes a lot. That's just <laughs> all I do. So, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so so those ugly faces just gave me like flashbacks to my own my own relatives and my own uh, time in Upper Austria. Upper Austria definitely has one of the ugliest people assembled in, yeah. in in Austria I think there 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 are some beautiful Austrians out there Arnold Schwarzenegger is a no, is a, is, 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 is an Adonis he's really you mean that that gap between the teeth that means that uh, a clitoris just fits in between <laughs> them like he must use that for that there's no other reason he would have kept, kept that you know oh jeez braces would have been so easy for that dude you know i know it's true actually he was a millionaire by the time he was 25 he could have sorted it out but yeah. yeah you're right though i yeah, think he you're could onto have, something he could have gotten cutting edge teeth oh and somebody's drilling somewhere awesome i hope that doesn't get picked up too much by the by the recording i'm sorry guys but we will we will it's way too late to be allowed to, to no, be no, drilling. No, no, no. You can, you can drill till 10 p.m. Oh, can you? Okay, my yeah. man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but after 10 p.m. But it's on the weekends, you can't. You can't on okay, the weekend. Right. Yeah. yeah, no construction work on the weekend. All right. Awesome. Um, so Arnold Schwarzenegger definitely uses the tooth gap for, for something. 
There has I think to be some reason. I, I really think you're onto something. I think this mm-hmm. is the clitoris stimulator. Yeah, yeah it going just on. keeps be- between <laughs> like Roger Rabbit and goes, <laughs> <laughs> but actually he goes ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah he's trying to spell the abc <laughs> ah, a is for annie <laughs> b is for uh blockbuster, <laughs> blockbuster movies. movies c is for clitoris <laughs> with between my teeth clitoris <laughs> <laughs> oh, he I shouts did. into the vagina <laughs> i i really get want, out here. i i really wanted to get to it's too much, but I wanted to get the S so I could be like, S is for steroids. Steroids. Yeah. <laughs> H, is, uh, uh, <laughs> H is for heart, 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 uh, heart failure. Heart failure. Yeah. He, he actually... He got a triple bypass or something. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. and he has artificial uh, heart flaps. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. they're pig. Huh? They're pig. They're pig heart flaps. Yeah. yeah. That was the best thing you could get back then okay. because he wanted to still keep training. Right. Yeah, when did he do this? When he was governor, I think, or shortly before that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's quite quite some time ago. Mm, right. Well, like 15, 20 years. Yeah, 15. Yeah, okay, I, yeah. I think you, you have to replace them every 20 years. Okay. Because okay. they just wear down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shitty pig of flaps. Of course, man. Got he's them got, pigs. He's like huge. He's got his heart is like fucking going on overdrive. Trying. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? All right. God damn it. <laughs> Stop with the construction work, guys. All right, let's let's move on. Um, yeah, your so your best montage. Best montage. Uh, I wanted to. I mean, the ugly one was nice. I didn't <laughs> want to. I didn't want to pick that. I yeah. so I'm gonna be very boring and just pick those the beginning shots of the mountains, which I oh, thought was very nice. beautiful. Yeah, probably one of the you mean best landscape porn. Landscape porn, exactly. I'm yeah. down with that. I, I really like it. And mm. there's no jokes here. So no you're, go- gonna- you're always going to the IMAX cinema when, a, when they're showing a documentary. Those- and like, oh, those <laughs> fish look so realistic. Oh, oh, oh my God, that close-up is so good. Mm. No, 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 no. I go out into nature and I do exactly <laughs> what, you, what you... I like the real shit. I don't do it in a, yeah, in yeah. a, in a dark uh, IMAX thing. <laughs> I have to be out. I need the fresh air, and that's yeah. how that's how Hello. I get my heart on. <laughs> I'll be done in a, I'll be done in twenty seconds. Good hiking. Good, good hiking. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using three legs. <laughs> uh, better better stability, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a tripod. Yeah, yeah you don't fall <laughs> over that much. Well, it's that's a, why you should masturbate in the mountains. It's like a tripod. If if I'm like. At a pretty much at a nine ground, degree nine, degree. Nine, yeah, at lying on the ground, then it's like yeah. A tripod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always say this is great, man. It's sh- <laughs> sharing, <laughs> sharing, sharing my size or lack thereof to to the whole <laughs> broadcasting it out to yep. the people. Yeah, uh, just for the people who are not watching this but listening to it, he has an emo- enormous dick. He just pulled it out and I it just is showed it. Second time somebody pulled out a dick yeah. in, in And don't FF don't go to the YouTube channel to no, don't. Uh, to confirm this because yeah. uh, YouTube is gonna they flag banned it. it. Yeah. yeah. No, I, no. <laughs> they banned they no, banned no, they the, cut out the, the, the algorithm plan. didn't know what to do with the image. Yeah, they he didn't, didn't know. identify it as a dick. He they, thought it was a fly <laughs> going through the frame. <laughs> <laughs> no no that that would be hilarious they, right if 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 somebody has such a tiny penis <laughs> no they then the algorithm is like yeah it's all good yeah it's, it's fine, fine. It's but fine. this is not porn this is not, no this is great this is fine it's just a fly like, yeah <laughs> or, or it realized like it has empathy now the algorithm like oh empathy no the he, algorithm he has such a small dick At we'll least let it we'll let, let it through yeah we don't ha- like it's more bother to re- retouch it. <laughs> first we're gonna give. Oh, first we're gonna use a lot of CGI to make him a bigger dick, and then we're gonna <laughs> pixelate it. <laughs> it's the big dick. It's filter. not worth it. It's not worth it to put a pixel on one. Coming to Sorry, Snapchat uh, <laughs> soon. The, the <laughs> big dick. The big, filter. The big dick filter. Why isn't oh, that yeah. like they did the big eye thing and the big nose thing already? Well, what happens if you like? Draw an eye on your penis. Oh, or just glue two googly eyes glue, to it. Glue two googly eyes. Yeah, and then shake it and the camera penis. thinks it's a face. Yeah. We should try that. <laughs> what, Snapchat penis are coming soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're doing, we're, doing, we're doing small and very small penis. <laughs> <laughs> small and very small, exactly. 
Those are te- small and smaller. That's that's small, our production small and team. Small, exactly. Small, small and smaller. And smaller. <laughs> yeah, we are not the average dick man's uh, uh, video platform. Exactly. We are the small penis uh, and smaller <laughs> penis man's lowering platform. lowering the average dick size since. 2017, 2017 yeah which is when case, we were established yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah that's we our were slogan. only sh- established for a short period yeah, for sure <laughs> oh that was um, we, but that's great <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome i feel like this podcast has devolved into just de- de- degeneracy yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that's fine yeah. just like the, the austrians at 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 that festival at the festival exactly uh, yeah and, at the, at and i think this is a good point to go to the final f- conclusion conclusions yeah so, so you enjoyed it i i enjoyed it because I your your girlfriend recommended it to you and you didn't watch it up to this point yes exactly so i hope she's not mad <laughs> because you know when your girlfriends recommend stuff to you they just actually listen, mean just they actually to mean the podcast with her, your girlfriend instead <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's what we'll probably do but it usually means like we should watch this together and mm-hmm. now i've watched it with someone else yeah which is uh okay yeah which Sorry. is like the equivalent of cheating on her so oh man <laughs> is it that bad no 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 i'm just making jokes yeah but i hope People got that <laughs> podcast that we're doing jokes. I think so. Yeah. FF Puri is definitely a joke-friendly place. Yeah, a, a, a place where f- jokes can f- roam free, be shitty, be even, good. even if even if they fall flat. Yeah, yeah they are still equal yeah. in my we're eyes. Try- yeah, it's not just jokes. It's also trying to make jokes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> Yes, good, good jokes as well as bad jokes. We're we're doing it all, all we're, all kinds of jokes. We don't discriminate against bad jokes <laughs> or good understand. jokes. We exactly. are the joke equalizer. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. all jokes welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> final thoughts. Um, I liked it. I thought uh, uh, I thought it was also not a laugh out loud or bur- or you know shock shock kind of mockumentary like mm-hmm. like in the vein of borat or something like this yes um and it was nope the, it, it is like quite the opposite of borat which exactly which tries to just exaggerate the the country they were coming from but the africans seemed like normal yeah. africans yeah like everyday africans except for that except for that lens the, the let's I- be honest but the lands, exactly, the but, lands. Uh, but I think that's just a mirror of the Europeans taking weapons and stuff like that when they are going into the Amazon and stuff. Yeah, like and that. just being really afraid and camping mm-hmm. up. And the first thing was that they were like kind of hiding in the jungle with yeah. their guns. So, um, But yeah, I mean, I think one thing that would uh, interest me is whether the with subtitles it's interesting to someone uh, who, who doesn't speak German. Or has any... A clue about Austria, or has any right? So forget the German. Has any clue about the Austrian uh, kind of has just not you know been exposed so much to the to the jokes that yeah. would make me curious. So Mary curious, Mary. It's a Marie Curie joke. It's very, okay. It's very again. All the jokes are welcome. Yeah, all jokes are welcome. <laughs> even if they fall. And I think this. I think I'm, I'm gonna use this now as the new sign off. All jokes are welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Awesome. Thank you for that, um, for the inspiration. Uh, I'm glad my shitty jokes were able to inspire <laughs> something but good. Yeah, that's 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 what most art is. Yeah, it's I something hope it's fine shitty. that I was swearing as well. Like, oh no, no, this time. is ra- rated R. Okay, uh, so okay, good. You're, 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 I mean, I try. I censored myself twice, but I think twice it also uh, came through. So that's the Canadian side, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A, yeah. A, a, that's the Canadian a, side. A, a, a. A. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it as well. Rewatching it, I, I discovered a few moments that I, I a few uh, scenes in the movie uh, in the movie that I uh, forgot about, and really appreciated again to watch them like fresh, basically. Um, definitely a, a testament to Austrian filmmaking and how good it can be yeah. compared to some of the bullshit we had to watch for this podcast Euro already. Eurocops, by the way. I'm just Again, Eurocops is un- going to be covered. Unrelated to the word Eurocops, bullshit, but Eurocops, Eurocops, yeah. Eurocops is going to get covered in the future in this case. 
Maybe with your mom. <laughs> yeah, I have the DVD of her episode, by the way. Oh, so. nice. Because you will never find it. You will <laughs> probably, never find it. Probably. I'm going to Google on, uh, I'm gonna Google on Amazon. Yes, yeah. I'm going to Google on Amazon, and then I'm going to Bing an email. <laughs> <Bing> an email. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, plugs, where can people find you? Do you have a, uh, a I have nothing. Page? I don't have any. Twitter, nothing? No tw Twitter, podcast. I just have just a Facebook. Just follow you in your re real life. Just follow me in real life. Once I can do more than four and a half minutes and not make people want to shoot themselves uh <laughs> they then i might Get either them. come back or ask or send you an audio clip of my shit and then hopefully you can paste it on the <laughs> no, no, i'm no, not no. gonna do that but i'm gonna <laughs> no, put, no, no, I just, if you ever have no, 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 that was, links i'm gonna put them in the description that was what that was one of the rare times i, I made a bad joke yeah <laughs> <laughs> that just was like yeah that seems reasonable <laughs> But no, no, I'm no. not gonna. I'm not. That. I'm not gonna hound you and be like, "Oh, I got a Twitter now. Can you just uh, paste it in? Paste it in. You know, just in the middle, Twitter.com/slash. You know, whatever. But uh, uh, no, I bet nobody took Ali. Huh? I've, I've, no, nobody one has has it. It. No, nobody no, has it. No, nobody has. No one has it yet. No, no. <laughs> for sure. It's it's just waiting for me. It's just. Waiting it's a for weird me. way to spell your name, though. It's a three H's, then, three. <laughs> then a double L, and, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> one of those weird. Norwegian wise and that then are upside just, down. Just uh, two on the eye, just two dots because Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why like not? The, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, it's heart shaped. <laughs> the <laughs> dots are heart shaped. Heart -shaped. <laughs> two heart shaped dots on the eye. Uh -huh. Yeah, so no plugs. Uh, hopefully in the if future. I, in the future if uh, links in the uh, description yeah, below. Links in the description, something like that. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see me and you're in Austria uh, go to all the open mics yes and you might catch me yes always always room. support the open mic scene and the normal stand-up yeah. scene and anyone in fact don't just go to the open mics uh take be part the in the open mics. be the open mics because the more people we have the better the it better is. for everyone yes it's a good scene it's a growing scene but you yeah. know we can always use more people and uh, as said before try it for three months and if it doesn't work out still go there and just watch and if if you're yeah trying getting better then keep doing it yeah just keep on going man it's all yeah. good exactly with these positive words i'm gonna send you off uh, drop us a like on facebook link in the description below all jokes are welcome goodbye peace bye